sharing my kitchen shelves we didn't decorate this in my smaller videos so I just want to tell you a little bit about what I did here um, the first shelf here I kept this exactly the same like I did for Valentine's Day the only thing that I changed was this bottom shelf here I added in two of these uh, dairy pictures here added some greenery and added two pale pink butterflies and I did keep the mirror so that's the only thing that changed there and then I added in these happy Easter mugs here with the little brown bunnies and I just placed them there I didn't do anything fancy down here I just have this crystal vase with some avocados in them so that's all I did there and on the bottom shelf, I didn't do anything fancy. I just put this nice basket here, which is holding some treats. And I just laid this beautiful small reef on top and just left it like that. I even have me some pure honey right here sitting in front. So we didn't do anything fancy um, on this portion of it. We just kept it very simple, but I am happy at the results. This is the other part of the kitchen here that I don't film quite a lot, but this is where I keep my day-to-day -day items like my flour and sugar in these containers here. I have a little small cutting board here. Then I have some little M&Ms, pastel M&Ms in this apothecary jar that was actually thrifted. Isn't that adorable with the little dome? Then I just added this little greenery garden ball tree and I also just kept my same little coffee pot here with the little pink roses and trimmed in gold and it's on another smaller cutting board and I also just added in this little white bird for spring and I always keep my little crystal lamp up here in my kitchen let's see can I get you a little bit closer I like this lamp being over here. I don't have to put on the chandelier that's in here. So that's that section of the kitchen here. And these are just some napkins here. I always keep seasonal um, napkins in this container here. 
and I have my little uh, matching coordinating little plates as well for treats and snacks so this is kept very uh, very simple over here I did do a kitchen update by switching out my valences to this gray pinstripe one here because if you go back and see my kitchen decorate video you would see that I had white valences so I did change those and I kept everything else the same this is the other side of my kitchen as well we didn't decorate this together so as you can see I have coordinating valences here the gray pinstripe ones and then I just added this beautiful pink platter that goes along with my saucers over there my salad plates over there on the dining table. And then I just put this simple bunny in front and let it look like it's jumping. And then I just added this little greenery piece here, this little miniature hanging greenery piece. I thought that was so fun and festive for the spring season. <music>
thank you so much for tuning into my channel today as I completed my spring home tour for 2024. I hope that you enjoyed this tour. And if you have any questions about anything that you saw during this video, just leave a comment below and I'll be happy to get back to you. I encourage you all to make sure that your notification bells are selected to all so you won't miss a single new episode when I post a new video. And also, I want you to make sure that you come back and see me because I still have a lot more decorating. We're going to continue some more spring decorating and I'm going to be venturing outdoors and doing some things to my patio for the summer as well. So I would like you all to come back and spend that time with me. So until the next video, happy decorating. Bye guys.